Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Sunday School this week. Uh, this is James speaking and today we have the brilliant story of Peter and Cornelius and, and the people who were listening to Peter speak. It comes in a book in the Bible called Acts and we'll look forward to um, seeing what happens. So let's see uh, what was happening in Cornelius's house when Peter was there. Well, here he is. Peter, or as Jesus called him, the rock, um, the original rock, uh, not that one from the wrestling and the Hollywood films, but, but, but the original one that Jesus' friend, the one who followed Jesus and loved him and shared his life with him. And he, he thought Jesus was so important and that his message and the good news that came from Jesus and his life, um, he wanted to tell everyone. And so that's what he did. And here he was at Cornelius's house um, and, and, and wanted to tell Cornelius and all his friends about Jesus and how, how Jesus could be really good news for them. Um, so let's see, what did Peter do? And there he is with the, with the uh, scriptures in his hand. And this is Peter the Rock. And here's the other main character in our story today, Cornelius. Cornelius was a Roman centurion, which means he was part of the ruling um, group in, in, in the, the society. Um, and he was seen as important. He had a house and lots of people gathered at his house for, for various meetings and things. Um, he was known as what's called a Gentile, someone who didn't necessarily follow God or, or, or Jesus, but, but maybe had heard about him. And so he invited um, Peter thinking, well, I want to hear about this. I want to hear the story. So here's um, Cornelius. There he is with his Roman centurion's hat on um, and he's ready and um, ready to listen to, to what Peter has to say. So Peter and Cornelius um, spoke about it uh, and here we have a, a very accurate uh, picture of, of Peter speaking to Cornelius and all the people gathered in Cornelius's house. You can see there's a big crowd, all sorts of people are there, young and old, men and women, everyone's there listening to what Peter is saying. And remember, Peter is telling them the really good news, the good news about Jesus and how Jesus can be really good for them and make a change in their life. Look at them all listening so carefully to what Peter is saying. And while Peter was speaking, something amazing happened, something really, really cool. And, and you can see from the next picture, which I think was taken from Peter's Instagram account, um, the Holy Spirit fell on Peter and all those gathered in the house. And you can see what effect it had on people were, were so stunned. They, they, they were falling over. They were, were laying down. It, it became a bit chaotic, actually, but, but it was good. They, they felt this was something really amazing. God was doing something amazing in their lives. Not only had they heard the good news from Peter who was there talking to them, but they felt God's Holy Spirit. And it says in the Bible that the Holy Spirit comes like a fire or a wind and people are physically affected by it. And that's why you see it's a bit of a jumble now, Cornelius's house. But something amazing was happening. That Even on these people who didn't necessarily know God or follow Jesus, even they were convinced that this was a good message. This was something amazing, that God's message through Peter, through Jesus and through the Holy Spirit was going to change them and make them something better and even closer to God in their lives. So isn't that exciting? Um, there's the flames. You can see them there. And, and they, they came and they, they, they rested on these people and they were amazed by all that God was doing in their lives. And the next thing that Peter did was something that happened when people became Christians or decided to follow God um, when the church had just started. As soon as they heard the message and, and accepted it and knew it in their heart, they would be baptised. Um, and so here we have a, a picture of Peter uh, baptising Cornelius. He took him to the nearest water and baptised him in the name of Jesus by the Holy Spirit's power. And that, that water, that, that cleansing, that ability for, for, for Cornelius to be cleaned in that water was just a sign of what God was doing in his life. And Cornelius was one of the first people to change his life from being a Roman centurion to being a follower of Jesus. Well done, Cornelius. And there he is being baptised. 
And then we get to the end of our story today um, from Acts in the Bible, um, because what happened next after Cornelius um, had been baptised and after he'd told everyone all about his new life as someone who followed God, he asked Peter to stay with him in his house. So there we are. There's Cornelius and Peter having a chat on the sofa, maybe talking about uh, this new thing that was happening in Cornelius's life. And that shows us that we can do the same today. We can follow um, Jesus. We can make a change in our life if we need to. And we can... Um, just have a good time together talking about our life and sharing uh, with our friends, with our family. I wonder whether you can make one of the stories from the Bible with, with Lego or something like that at home. It's quite a challenge, but hopefully you can do it and have good fun. Let's have a prayer. Lord, we thank you that you changed Cornelius. We thank you that Peter um, talked the lovely message of the gospel of Jesus and the good news that he brought and we thank you that we share in it too we thank you for all the good things that you give to us and we pray that we would know your holy spirit uh, changing us so that we are are following you as good as we can lord we thank you in Jesus name amen